Four stitches. Ruin dinner. This was your first panic attack? Fainted. That's what my old man called it. Obviously, we finally touched on something here. What you witnessed that day, where the meat came from, and your mother's great pleasure in it? What was the only time you could count on her being in a good mood? When the weekly meat delivery from Satcher Alley showed up at the house. Or Fusco, the vegetable man, maybe. Probably the only time the old man got laid. Probably. Pretty sick, huh? Getting turned on by free cold cuts. Do you think that your mother questioned why the meat was free? The meat that was going into her children's mouths? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't even want to fucking think about any of this shit. I'm sure it was too much for you then, too. That's why you short-circuited puberty. Witnessing not only your mother and father's sexuality, but also the violence and blood so closely connected to the food you were about to eat. And also the thought that someday you might be called upon to bring home the bacon, like your father. All this from a slice of gabagool? Kind of like Proust's Madeleines. What? Marcel Proust wrote a seven-volume classic, Remembrance of Things Past. He took a bite of a Madeleine. It's a kind of a tea cookie he used to have when he was a child. And that one bite unleashed a tide of memories of his childhood and ultimately of his entire life. This sounds very gay. I hope you're not saying that. No. Understanding root causes will make you less vulnerable to future episodes. My fucking head is swimming here. We're gonna have to stop. It's a lot to process. But we've made real progress today. Good work. And I'd really like you to write down any thoughts or associations.